is if there's gonna be any kind of breakout from potentially some sort of a bull pennant pattern or some sort. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiki Mir, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up about 1.2%. There on the S&S, like 0.8%. Semiconductor flat, Dow 1.2. Along the Russell 2000, Transport Banks, Energy, Biotech, Healthcare, Home Builders, Utilities, Retail, Emerging Market. Every single sector is green today. Bitcoin down, gold silver miners are up a little bit. Dollar flat, oil down, treasure bond up. VIX down a little bit. Let's still test if you found ETF. Spider! 65 minute chart here. So this is what we closed yesterday. And looks like we saw another significant up gap dip zoning. However, this gap was faded quickly, as you can see here on the first hour and second hour. So we did see the market coming down after the gap up. However, bears failed to fill the entirety of that up gap. Looks like there's about 15%. Remember, this is where we closed yesterday. This is where we opened about 15 percent or so 20 percent gap is not fully filled and as you guys know when the gap doesn't get fully filled it's going to favor the buyers because this is an up gap today as you can see my micro term moving average coming here now propping itself up on the third hour and you can see that's a fourth hour fifth hour sixth hour staying still above the micro term moving average 368 366 that up gap about 15 percent remaining that's still open as of now so as you can see here we're still back above the short term moving average right here my short term moving average here you can see that midterm moving average now potentially acting as new support i am not sure as of today however the midterm moving average is kind of flattening out a little bit well, should there be any kind of decline 368 366 needs to be held uh, if the buyers want to see any kind of higher prices a uh, good news is that with the today's prices you can see this there's a down gap that was opened you know since early october that down gap was fully fill with this up gap today so that's a good news at least buyers trying to neutralize the threat right here and they opened up their own up gaps here so what the bulls need to do they need to see a follow through to the upside we're seeing about two three days of run here you can see that the first day pullback second day third day fourth day so you can see where trying to cultivate these higher highs and higher lows in the minor term and short term and we have that october swing high coming up here 377.81 that's going to be important pivot that's going to be that you know lower high right for the october here after cultivating the lower low so if bulls want to turn this into a real uptrend they must get above and start calling that higher high higher low here let's check out that oscillator so the oscillator is actually neutral as of today so you can see the market really market is up about 1.2 percent how the price action is sell we kind of hasn't gone anywhere right we move sideways because we quickly dwindle down after that gap up so with that that oscillator is just kind of not doing much here moving sideways kind of giving us the neutral vibe as of today i think what the oscillator is waiting on is if there's gonna be any kind of breakout from potentially some sort of a bull pennant pattern or some sort again these patterns can break out to the upside or downside so obviously you know oscillators are waiting I think either it's going to break out to the upside, but just breaking out to the upside is not going to be enough for the bulls. They need to get above the October swing high here, 377. Or if we do get below the midterm moving average, things can get very, very hectic, very, very quickly for the bulls. I'm going to come back for you. We'll reassess the situation.
Nation. Enjoy your evening and go train tomorrow.